I've got myself a little zip of coffee in the morning and um, just switch and change things in the painting. I'm working here in Procreate where I work most of the time for planning the paintings. Well, I just arrived here at the horse stable, or better said, at the box, and it's, by the way, a totally beautiful place right here. And behind me there is the wall, which I'm um, going to paint here. And before I start painting, I just have to cover all the areas and the surfaces, which I don't want to paint, and cover it with masking tape. <music> Alrighty, so I just covered everything with the masking tape and I just want the edge between ceiling and wall sharp like a knife. And here's a trick, what I use every time when I want sharp edges between ceiling and wall, I just use pure acrylic. So at the end of the video, when I just rip off the masking tape, you will see the result. It's sharp like a knife. It's time to make art now and I basically start off with the sketch and um, I'm using a brush to sketch and acrylic water-based paint which is a brown like burned sienna and I have a bucket for my paint, a bucket of water to mix it down to let it more flow out of the brush and I have the reference photo which I printed before and um, I created it on iPad so I have always my reference photo in the hand while I sketch. So let's get started with the sketch. <laughs> Mixing colors is so important. So I have my acrylic paints right here and the base is just um, water-based paint in white. And the next thing I'm going to do is pre-mix some colors of the image so I can dip into the bucket of the pre-mixed color and then go onto the wall right there. <laughs> I just try to avoid to use pure black in my paintings. Just every time when you see me painting a dark area, which is almost black, I just try to mix a dark version of the color that I'm painting. As you can see, I just pre-mixed all the main colors that I need in the painting. Next step is to paint the wall. So one simple rule that I follow along in every project is like working from background to foreground. So let's get started to pan the background. Hey. Alright, day one is officially in the books. I've just made some abstract background and um, yeah, let's see what tomorrow brings. Well, it's actually day number two and sorry for the bad audio, but here are other men at work and they have very loud tools. So I just have my um, spray gun right here and my air pressure to um, just overdo some areas at the background. So I just put my gun piece together and then continuing spraying the background to make, to make it finish.
The client actually brought me a cup of coffee right there in the morning and it just nailed my likeness. Just sitting here having lunch it's pad thai and i just love it and there's someone who loves it too When you're painting and your transition from dark color to light color looks always gray, then here's a quick tip. Let me just flip the camera around so I can show you. The hair of the horse right there is almost black, but I just want the whole horse to look warm overall. And what I did is I added a transition color from the outside to the inside, which is warm. So that makes an effect that the hair is almost black, but it looks warm. Remember, as I said, I want the edge between ceiling and wall sharp like a knife. At the end of the video, when I just rip off the masking tape, you will see the result. It's sharp like a knife. Watch this. Thank you so much for watching the video and if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel then please do so and add me on ICQ and follow me on MySpace and I'm trying to catch you in the next one.